A two-time All-America honoree in the discus throw, John McMenamin remains one of the top throwers in program history. He set the program record of 179 feet 3 inches in the discus throw during the qualifying rounds of the 1980 NCAA Division III Outdoor Track and Field Championships, which was believed to be the fourth best throw in Division III history at the time. The Granville High School product finished second in the discus throw at the 1978 NCAA Division III Outdoor Track and Field Championships and won the SUNYAC title in the event all four years of college. In addition to his accomplishments in track and field, he competed as an offensive tackle and snapped punts on the Plattsburgh State football team during his sophomore year. Hi, I'm Howard Hammonds. I'm a former coach at Plattsburgh State. One of the great moments in my life was coaching athletes in the, in the early 70s, middle 70s. Uh, Johnny Mack, congratulations. It's long overdue. You're one of the most outstanding track and field athletes to ever come through this system. And it was a pleasure recruiting you back in the day. Even though it was the easiest recruiting I ever did, sent you a letter, asked you to come to Plattsburgh. You wrote me back and said you're coming. You don't remember, I remember 40 years ago that uh, getting that letter saying I'm coming to Plattsburgh, knowing I was going to have a great discus thrower. Never did I imagine you'd be as great as you were. Congratulations. Well, as I said, John was, was easy to recruit. I, he had already heard about the school. I think we had the major he wanted. He had done investigating on his own. And uh, you, you, you wrote him, and because uh, I saw his name in results, uh, back in the day we didn't have the internet, so we had to get paper results, and uh, wrote, him, wrote him a letter. And he had already made up his mind he was coming to Plattsburgh. Unlike many others that I had to recruit, where I had to really talk him into coming to North Country, John was coming. I didn't get to coach John, and I've said this many times, uh, I knew he was going to be a great athlete because of just his high school performance, he was number two in the state at the time. Uh, I had the opportunity to move on in life and you know, hard decision a coach makes is leaving a bunch of great athletes here that I did. Uh, John was one of them, Gary Gillis, was a good friend of his, was another one. And, uh, he was, what I understand, was uh, almost self-taught while he was here because they didn't, didn't have a real discus coach, but he had Obviously, he's very knowledgeable about his sport. Johnny Mack's 1979 performance at the SUNYAC Championships goes down as one of the all-time great performances. Forty years later, the record still stands, 61 meters, .03 in the discus. I wasn't here to follow Johnny's career, and it was more difficult. I was in Saudi Arabia coaching the Saudi national team, but I heard about Johnny's performances at the nationals through mutual friends. Guys would, from the team would write me letters and brag about how great the, John was doing. Uh, throwing the fourth best throw at that time in history with all the great discus throwers, just an outstanding performance. 